ready to bake a loaf of my sourdough bread. I think I revived my starter. <clears throat> so this is going to be the second loaf of bread now that I've made, and this has been rising in the fridge for, oh, uh, at least 24 hours. And it's looking like it's ready to bake. So I'm going to bake this at 450 with my lid on. And this is my my clay baker. I love this thing. In fact, I bought a second one just to bake more than one loaf of bread, but for now I'm just baking the one loaf. So that's going to go in a 450 oven for 20 minutes covered and then another 30 minutes or so uncovered and we'll see how it turns out later. Yep, kitchen table is a mess again. Not too bad, but what do you guys do to keep your kitchen table from looking like this? I don't know. This seems to be the hub where everything collects and it's mostly paper. So any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. So I want to do a little rearranging of this. <clears throat> now this is in my dining room. And over here I have some cookbooks stored. Shocking, right? <laughs> More cookbooks. Anyway, and over here I have all these bins and they're all labeled with what's in them. So that's all good and well, but up here I need to do a little tweaking. Now this is where I keep my bills, so it's my bill station and that's all neat. And this is where I keep my DIY cookbooks, my vegan cookbook that I've put together, my um, sourdough bread. So, and that keeps growing and then down here I just have some papers and my hole puncher, but I want to move this unit to somewhere else because I have another one of these that I want to put over here instead. So, but this up here on top needs some tweaking and just make it look a little nicer since it is my dining room. And this is where I keep my kombucha kind of keep it dark and my SCOBY hotel and then here I just have some random bottles of wine um, these I actually got from Costco I haven't tried this sangria but this it's a Moscato and if you like Moscato wine this is the best Moscato and it's called Santo. I get it at Costco. And it is, it's an Asti. And it is so delicious. So anyway, I'm starting to stock up a couple things. Uh, my family and I, when we get together, we like to drink wine. So um, I'm starting to gather things for the holiday now. And then up here I have, this is a little fireplace actually. Right now I just have candles in there and a couple of uh, little succulents. But in the winter, this part under here, you can put like the canned heat in there. So it's a real nice ambiance and I have that hanging there on the wall. And then up here is one of my paintings. Um, I did that quite a while ago and yeah so you know you don't have to have a lot of money to decorate nicely and in this little cabinet I keep some of my um, electronic things um, there's some camera things and and just those types of things and in here I actually have some curtains and things in here and a tablecloth for my dining room. And then down here I keep my uh, camera equipment. And when I'm not using it I put my tripod in here. So it is organized and this one is falling apart but this one has some more uh, curtains that once in a while I like to change out the curtains. 
so I keep those in here. And this over here is my wine bar. And I have a couple of lights and things that go on here. So this is a little bunch of grapes there. And then I have this lit up just with little, little Christmas lights. So this is my wine bar. And down here I just have some some crystal and things. I want to go through that again. I've gotten rid of quite a bit of it, but I do like the way it looks with when it's lit with candles. And down here I have just some chargers and dishes and things. I have a lot of dishes. And then down here I have some more wine. Not that I drink a lot, I don't, but during the holidays we enjoy a bottle of wine. And then here, I've shown this before, this is my Christmas cacti and my um, orchids. They're not blooming right now, they're resting, but they really are nice and green. I mean, the, the leaves are really lush. And I've actually fed them uh, eggshells that I've ground up and they seem to like that and they also like my mom tells me they love Epsom salt so I'm going to repot these I have new pots so that's that and then over here I have some just some more random crystal and dishes and, and things so that's over there. And then this is my painting station where uh, this was my little dog, Allie. She's passed away now. I had her for 14 years. So I painted a picture of her. And this is my painting station that I keep here tucked in the corner of the dining room. And this little cart I got, and it, the table extends out, and I keep my painting things in here. So, and this is my to-go painting things because I have a friend. Sometimes I go to her house and we both paint. So then over here I have another cabinet with more dishes. Yes, I have a lot of dishes. And I used to use them all, but I don't anymore. And then, of course, this you've seen too. This is my uh, indoor garden. So that's a tour of my dining room. And I want to spiffy it up a little bit. This thing amazes me. It, it's just, it just keeps getting bigger. But I love it. So anyway, um, I'm going to work on this a little bit today. And here's my other camera and my tripod. This camera, I got this on Amazon. It was like a hundred and uh, around a hundred dollars. It's okay, but um, I don't know, I've never been happy with the sound. I've tried a couple different microphones. If anybody has any suggestions on microphones that really work, because it buzzes a little bit, so I usually use my phone. And this is my Norfolk Island Pine. That gets some Christmas decorations on it around Christmas time. So that's a little tour of my dining room. Here I am out on my deck, and the leaves are already starting to fall. So I have to clean up out there too. And my wisteria here is starting to get yellow leaves. So today's the first day of fall, and it started. Alrighty. Is just a brief tour of my dining room and today I'm baking bread. I'm going to light my candles because it's sort of cloudy and just drizzling just a little bit. It's not a sunny day but I like days like this every now and then. So uh, anyway I just wanted to say hello and uh, hope everybody's doing well. 
go have some fun today. This isn't really, well, yeah, it's kind of fun. <clears throat> I like organizing and rearranging things and purging and finding new things that I forgot I had that I can re reuse or repurpose. For me, that's fun. So anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I, that would make me very happy and we could have a nice community here. Um, There's a wonderful community of people and uh, it's really fun. So consider subscribing and if you like my content, give me a thumbs up. It helps me know that you like my content and then I can do more of a certain type of video. And all I want to say is I wish you abundant blessings and I love you guys and I'll see you later.